Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira from Imagine Android. I'm here for another Frames from Scratch. On this episode, we're going to use this priest's bell that it's quite common to see here in Portugal, and we're going to make a patch with it. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we recorded the samples, which are this and this one. And we're now going to open up frames and load them up. So I'm going to start by loading the first bell here. I'm only actually only going to use one. And I'm going to start by offsetting it just a little bit so I can make kind of a loop continuous of this sound too much density we want it to be continuous in some way but we don't want to hear the transient so for now I think this is okay offset it a little bit you can hear, I can choose here the right timbre for it. And now I go to the third layer and I'm going to load up the bell again. So I'm going to solo it. And now I'm going to open up all the windows so I can hear the transient. Okay, and now just one grain, density at minimum. And now here on the window I'm going to put it to end. So I want this to be our transient and this to be our sustain. So if I now turn the solo off and play both, I get this. And drop the volume a little bit on this one. Offset it a little bit more. So now, I got this nice bell. Now, we can choose if I want, for example, drop both an octave and I get kind of a thicker bell. But it's kind of nice to drop the sustain one octave, but keep the transient on a high pitch. Sounds quite nice, but I'm going to drop them both like this. Okay, and now let's go to the second part of the patch. So I'm going to solo this one. Actually, I'm going to tune them first. So I want an oscillator. Okay, so six semitones, and what I'm going to do to keep it tuned is I'm going to drop six semitones on the layers with the sample. So now... Okay. But I'm not going to use the, the sound of this one because I only want to use it for FM, so I'm going to take the volume out. and turn the oscillator on the first layer. And now I'm going to global and turn FM on. And now what I want to do is give FM according to the envelope generator too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exaggerate and open it here. And now we go to the envelope and the FM is going to have this curve. So I'm going to increase this. This one doesn't do nothing because it's the second that it's operating on the first one. So it's on the second, like this. Okay. 
Okay, and as you can see, I'm controlling the 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 this uh, using this envelope generator to trigger the the amount of FM. Changing the curve a little bit. And now I'm going to do also use this. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn on link. So this means when this link is on, uh, it will change all these second envelope generators. So now I'm just going to wiggle a little bit on the parameters that I used. And as you can see, it's changing on all the others. So now if I go here, you can see that envelope generator 2 is the same. And now I can go to here and use the same uh, envelope generator, for example, to modulate the pitch a little bit of the first layer. I'm gonna turn off the, the, the bells for now, just to focus on the... Two six four. I'm gonna put two one two, and I'm gonna modulate the second layer as well, the same amount to see how it sounds. Now let's give it again the. Okay, I'm dropping the volume of sustain a little bit so it does, it's not that loud. And now I'm gonna do a little bit of vi vibrato, vibrato here on the first layer. So I'm gonna use the first LFO, let's change the rate. And let's go to the matrix and modulate the pitch. Now you can hear it. I want it faster a little bit. But I don't want that much. Just want this little bit. And I don't I want it to I'm going to delay it a little bit so when I play it doesn't start. here by by increasing the sustain on the second layer here I'm actually influencing how much FM is going to modulate the first one so you can see I'm changing the timbers just by changing the the, the amount of sustain so now I can give it a little bit of reverb on the first one, of course. Too much. High pass filter on the reverb. I don't want. Okay. And now let's add. I'm going to drop the volume completely on the first one. Let's turn on the bells again. And now let's <coughs> sorry. Let's try and make this envelope a little bit sweeter. Let's drop another octave on the bells and see how it sounds. 
A little bit of reverb on the bells. there a little bit I think I still hear a little bit too much volume on the synth so I'm gonna drop the sustain a little bit bit more of reverb on this bell. I was just trying to tune it a little bit, but since it's a bell, there are a lot of um, harmonics that aren't harmonics, actually. They're not uh, uh, multiples of the bass frequency, so they sound inharmonic. And that's kind of the fun of some bells, is that they have a harmonic component and, and some components that aren't harmonic. Just tuning it. So actually trying to find what you like more because you're always going to have inharmonic uh, components but it still sounds better here where it was on the first one just too loud a little bit of delay on this one gonna give it spread so we, we have stereo a little bit of feedback, and let's sync it to one eighth. A little bit of high pass. Too much, I think it's too much uh, volume on the... Okay, like this probably. Here we have it. So this is it guys. I really hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. This was a fun tutorial to make and I hope that it gives you some inspiration for you to use these kinds of patches on your creations. I will say now that uh, it would be really nice if you give us a like and subscribe to our channel because that means a lot to us and be sure to check out our YouTube channel because we have new content coming up every week. So I will now say goodbye, everyone.